Hello students, welcome you to this video. In this video, I am going to teach exercise 1.1. Already you studied the theory part and in the previous video we worked out all the example sums. So there are some challenging sums, hope you understood all those sums. And now we are going to see the exercise sum, they are quite easy sums only, except one or two. Now let us see the first question. Write the following in roster form. Just I asked to write in roster form. You must know what is roster form, right? That is the basic form. So we separate the elements using comma, right? It is given in set builder form, right? X belongs to N. N stands for natural number, right? Uh, X belongs to N. X square less than 121. X square is less than 121. And X is a prime number. So we have to write x as your answer. Two conditions. x must be a natural number, first one. Then x is a prime number also. x is a prime number. You know which is the smallest prime number? 2. 2 is the smallest prime number. Next prime number is 3. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. It goes on, right? But there is a condition when you square it must be less than 121. Of course, there are three conditions, right? It must be a natural number. Natural number means a broader one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Everything is there. Another condition says it's a prime number. So, only a few terms, right? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, like that. And uh, one more condition is there. If you square, your answer should not exceed what 121. Even 121 you cannot take, right? So, which one you can take? You can take 2 because 2 square is 4. Less than 121. 3 you can take. 3 square is only 9. 5 you can take because 25 only. 7 you can take because 7 square is what? 40? 9, right? 11 you can... No, right? Because 11 if you take, 11 square is what? 121, right? So 121 you cannot take because x square less than 121. If they say x square less than or equal to 121, even the 11 also you can take, okay? So here only... The four numbers, write in roster form, so that's your answer. Now see the next question, next subdivision, write the in roster form. The set of all positive roots, positive roots. So they didn't ask the roots, okay, positive roots of the equation. Okay, one fourth degree equation, here one root, here one root, here two roots. So here the root x minus 1 equal to 0, already it's in factorized form, so you can do very easily. So x minus 1 equals 0 means x is equal to plus 1. Here the second one you are getting x equal to minus 1. And the last one x square minus 1 equal to 0. So x square equal to 1, x equal to plus or minus 1, right? So you are getting plus 1 minus 1. So 4 roots. So 1 multiplicity is 2, right? Because it repeats 2 times. Minus 1 multiplicity 2. 2 times it repeats, okay? So but positive roots they asked. So 1 is the only one positive root, right? But the answer how to write, you see, the set of. Inside the set, you should not repeat, right? So write as what roster form. 1 is the only thing you have to write, positive root. If they ask roots, then you should write 1 comma minus 1. But there also you don't repeat, okay? In a set, you should not repeat the element. So here your answer is only 1 only because they asked write the positive root. Now let us go for the next question. Write in roster form. x belongs to n. x is a natural number. 4x plus 9 less than 52. So one inequality given, right? 4x plus 9 less than 52. So 4x is less than, take 9 that side. So what do you get? 52 minus 9, 43, right? So x is less than 43 by 4. So that is x is less than 10, 3 by 4, 10.35, 75, right? 10, 3 by 4. So in the number system, say 10 is here, 11 is here, 10.75, 10 10.75, it is somewhere here, right? 10.75, less than, x is less than 10.75. So it's left side number, but it is a natural number. So you cannot, you can go only up to what? 1. So your answer is 1, 2, 3, etc. up to what? 10. Because 11 you cannot take 
because less than 10.75. So before 10.75, the natural number is 10, right? So you can take only up to 10. So your answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the next one, write in roster form, set of all x, given in set builder form, right? Set of all x says that x minus 4 by x plus 2 equal to 3. X belongs to any real number other than minus 2. Well, you know, if you put minus 2, the denominator becomes 0. If you put X minus 2, minus 2 plus 2, 0, something by 0, not defined. You cannot say it is 3, right? So that's a uh, condition, that's the reason they given that condition. So any X, right, set of all X such that satisfy this condition. So just to solve it, X minus 4 by X plus 2 equal to 3, right? Cross multiply this. When you cross multiply x minus 4 equal to 3 into x plus 2. Multiply 3x plus 3 twos are 6. So group x terms 3x minus x, right? Equal to minus 4 minus 6. So 2x equal to minus 10. So x is equal to minus 10 by 2. So you are x getting x equal to minus 5. Don't leave it. Write in roster form. That's important. Sometimes many students, they do the, all the hard work but they won't write the final answer properly, okay? So here your answer is minus five. Answer in roster form. Only one element, so it's a singleton element. Singleton set, okay? Now, it is given in roster form, they asked to write in what? Set builder form. So there, there are different ways. So don't think we can write only in one way, no. There are many ways. Minus one and one you need. So you can say set of all x such that x is an integer, x lies between what, minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 and x not equal to 0. This is also correct only. Oh, you know. Integer, okay. Integer means what, 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, etc. So here between minus 1 and 1, minus 1 and 1 also included. So you can take minus 1, 0, 1. But the next condition says x not equal to 0, so you cannot take it. Then your answer is minus 1 and 1. Okay, that is one way. Or here, minus 2 less than x less than 2. Like that you can write. So minus 2 and 2 are not included, right? Minus 2 and 2 are not included. So the next integer in between, minus 1, 0, 1. And not equal 0 we are written. Okay, so there are different ways. And in another way, quite common way, what you can write, you know, I am telling all this, you know, when you go for examination, they ask something outside the textbook. So you have to understand the concept thoroughly. Then you can put it in your own words. Okay, you can give your own answer, but see that it's satisfying the conditions. So minus one and one, these are the roots of root one. What is root one? Plus or minus one, right? So if I take x square is equal to one, if you solve, x is equal to what? Plus or minus one. So you can write it as an equation, x square minus one equals zero, right? So if you solve this, you will get these two. So what I can do, uh, set of all x as set, set of all x as set, x square minus one equal to zero. Even this is enough. Set of all x as set, x square minus one equal to zero. So set of all x such that x square minus, just to solve it. So x square minus one equal zero if you give, x square equal to plus 1, so x equal to root of 1, so your answer is what, plus 1 and minus 1. This is a simple way of writing that, okay? So, hope you understood that. Shall we go for the third sum? Very simple one. State whether the following sets are finite or infinite. So, you know, what is finite, what is infinite. Set of all x, x is a natural number. Another condition, x is an even prime number. What are the even prime numbers? How many even prime numbers are there? Only one, right? So 2 is the only one prime number, singleton set. You can count the number of elements, only one element. So you say it is a, the question is, you state whether it is finite or infinite. It is a finite set. So next, x belongs to n, natural number. x is an odd prime number. So except 2, all of the prime numbers are what? Odd numbers only. There are infinite number of prime numbers. So it is what your answer is, infinite. 
then x belongs to z. z means what? Integer. Immediately it should come in your mind. Integer. Integer means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, etc. Both the ends it goes, right? And another condition, it not only an integer, it is even. It is even. One more condition, less than 10. Less than 10 means it is finite or infinite. Less than 10. 8. Less than or equal to 10? No, only less than 10. So 8, 6, 4, 2, that's all. Huh? Even negatives it goes, right? Minus 2, minus 4. Because integers, if they say natural number, it stops with what? 2. Then it is finite, only 2, 4, 6, 8. But here set of integers, so negative integers also, even numbers also there, right? So this is also infinite. Don't try to mug up anything. When you go for the examination, instead of insert, they may give n. So then it becomes what? Finite. Okay. So do you read the question very carefully? Try to understand. X belongs to R. X is a real number. Real number. What is a real number? Real number is a union of rational and irrational. Rational number, you know what is number is also from P by Q. P and Q are integers and Q not equal to zero. So that form, that is rational number. Irrational, root two, root three, all these irrational number, right? There are infinite number of rational numbers, infinite number of irrational numbers. The union is what? Real number. So how many real numbers will be there? Infinite number of real numbers are there, okay? So X is a real number such that X is a rational number. Rational numbers also infinite only. Next one is what? X belongs to N, natural number. It is a rational number. Every natural number is a rational number. 7 is a natural number. 7 can be written as 7 by 1, right? It is a rational number. There are infinite number of rational numbers which are natural numbers. So this is also infinite. So it's a very simple question. Now let us go for the fourth question. See, by taking suitable sets, your choice. You take any set. All of you know how to take union, how to take intersection, how to find A cross B, right? Everything you know. So I'm, I'm not, there are four or five subdivisions. I don't want to waste time. You can do that. Just I'm going to take one sum, okay? So by taking suitable ABC, don't take very big number. Then you will struggle, right? Then it is your wish. Okay, I'm taking a very simple example. I'm taking A equal to... Uh, say 1, 2, 3. Three sets we want, right? So B I'm taking 2, 3. C I'm taking 3, 4. At least few elements you write. So okay, don't take one element. Okay, that's also correct only, right? Because they said take any suitable set, right? Okay. At least two element or three element you take. So A, B, C. Now we find LHS. To find LHS, first what do you need? B intersection C, right? So I'm finding B intersection C. What is common for B and C? B and C. You can see 3 is common, right? So 3 is common. B intersection C is what? 3. Then we want A cross B intersection C. What is A? 1, 2, 3. Cross B intersection C is what? 3. So cross product means set of ordered pairs, set of ordered pairs. First element is from first set, second element is from the second. So what you can say, how to write, you know, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, right? 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3. Set of ordered pairs, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3. So this is the answer for LHS. A cross B in the same. So now for RHS, we have to find A cross B first, then A cross C, then take their intersection. So let us find A cross B first. A cross B. What is A? 1, 2, 3. Cross B, what is that? 2, 3. Can you tell me how many elements will be there? In A, there are 3 elements. In B, there are 2 elements. So 3 into 2, 6 elements will be there, right? So what is the first one? 1, 2, 1, 3, right? 1, 2, 1, 3, then 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, then 3, 2, 3, 3. That already you studied in the lower classes. Okay, this is A cross B. Next, we want A cross C. So we want A cross C also. A is 1, 2, 3, cross C. C is what? 3, 4. 
So find the cross product here again, 1, 3, 1, 4. Then 2, 3, 2, 4. Then 3, 3, 3, 4, right? 3, 3, 3, 4. Now, you take the intersection of that because the right side is what? A cross B, intersection A cross C. So A cross B, intersection A cross C. What is intersection? You take the common element. See what which elements are common in both. 1, 3 is there. Then 2, 3 is there. 3, 3 is there, right? These are the three common elements. The common elements are 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3. So both the answers are same, right? 1 and 2 are same. So you can say from 1 and 2, so A cross B intersection C equal to A cross B intersection A cross C. Okay, so right like that, you write the conclusion also. Okay, so like that, I think other subdivisions you can do it of your own. Okay, okay now before teaching the next sum, fifth sum that is something very different type. Okay, so a lot of controversy is there. So everyone give different answer. Just I want to explain to you very clearly. So listen very carefully. You must first understand the difference between element and set. Listen, suppose I'm taking a set A equal to, taking say 1, 2, 3. If I write here 1 and here A, what I have to write here, whether I use this symbol or this symbol. Say, what do you write? And one more I'll give you. If I write here this one, writing here A. The first one which symbol, symbol I have to give, second one which symbol I have to give. First one is not a set, one. One is not a set, right? One is an element. One is an element of. One is an element of A. But the next one is a set, right? Actually, the it is from A only. Okay, so one is a here you should not say element. One is a subset of, one is a subset, right? One is a subset one, is a subset of A, right? So you must know when to use the symbol element and when to use what? Subset, okay? Shall you go for that sum? Justify the trueness of the statement. Listen. An element, an element can never be a subset of itself. So I'm taking A is a set. A is a set. From here, you take an element. Here, you take a subset. Element can never be a subset of itself. Element, can you say element become a subset? Element element can you say it's a subset no element cannot be a subset right that's what they said here can never be a subset so what they said is true it is an element other one is subset element cannot be a subset element is not a set for argument suppose if you want you can say they give some people give some example like this a b a, B. So, A is a set. A is a set. This set has how many elements? One, two, three elements. A is an element of A. B is an element of A. A comma B is an element of A. It is not a set, okay? If I take subset, you know there are three elements. So, two raised to three. Eight subsets will be there. Taking one at a time, taking two at a time, taking two at a time. If I take one at a time, there I can, if I take this, then I have to take like this. Okay, then only say it is a subset. Because this is an element, we write it as a set. If you want, you can take these two. When you take these two, A comma B is a subset of what? A. But this is not this one. Okay. Just for fun, we can take talk about all these things. But very simply, you can remember, 
element and subset element cannot be a subset okay because element is not a subset means it should be a set so element is a element only is not a set okay so an element of a set can never be a subset of itself this statement is true now let's go for the next question if n of p of a is 1024 n of p of a is 1024 n of p of a equal to 1024 so from here you can find n of a right so n of p of a means 2 raised to n right 2 raised to n equal to 1024 1024 is 2 raised to 10 so n equal to 10 that means number of elements in a is 10 okay this we used now let's see here also something n of p of b 32 that is 2 raised to n is 32 means 2 raised to 5. So n is 5 here, that means number of elements in B is 5. So now we know number of elements in A, number of elements in B, number of elements in A union B given in the question 15, they asked for number of elements in A intersection B. There is a relation connecting addition formula, right? n of A union B, n of A union B is equal to what's the formula? n of A plus n of B minus n of a intersection b n of a union b what is n of a union b it is given in the question 15 15 is equal to n of a 10 plus n of b 5 minus n of a intersection b that is what we want so bring that negative term this side so you'll get n of a intersection b is equal to 10 plus 5 15 take this 15 that side it become what minus 15 so you are getting 15 minus 15 the answer is what zero so p of sorry n of a intersection b is equal to zero simple sum now we go for the seventh sum n of a intersection b equal to 3 n of a union b equal to 10 number of elements in the power set of a delta b if you want to find number of elements in a delta b First you find out number of elements in A delta B, then 2 raised to n, right? So number of elements in A delta B, for that you must know what is A delta B. A delta B you have two formula. One is A minus B union B minus A. Another one is A union B minus difference A intersection B. Which one you can use? Union and intersection because it is the given in the question, right? So A delta B is A union B difference minus A intersection B. So n of so n of a delta b is equal to n of a union b minus n of a intersection b. So n of a union b is 10 minus 3 equal to 7. This is number of elements in a delta b. So number of elements in the power set of a delta b is number of elements in the power set of a delta b is 2 raised to n. Here it is 7, right? 2 raised to 7 it is what 128 right 128 now the next question for a set a for a set a a cross a contains 16 elements for a set a a cross a contains 16 elements so a number of elements in a cross a is equal to 16 so that is n of a into n of a equal to 16 n of a the whole square is 16 that is 4 square, so n of a is 4. Number of elements a equal to what? 4. Number of elements in a equal to 4. So, 2 of the elements given. So, a cross a contains 16 elements. Only 2 elements given here. So, you know, a cross a, first element is from a, second element also from a. A cross B means first element is from A, second element is from B. Here A cross A, first element is from A, second element also from A only. So all these elements are from A only. So A equal to, what are the elements? 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Any other elements in A? No, N of A is what? 4. So find the elements of A. So first we, first we got how many elements are there? 4 elements in A. Now what are the 4 elements? These are the 4 elements, okay? So now let us go for the next question. Question number 9. A and B are B2 sets such that N of A equal to 3. N of A. In A there are 3 elements. In B there are 2 elements. 
So here three elements given, they are in what? A cross B. A cross, it is not A cross A. A cross B. Set of ordered pair, first element from A, second element from B. So here three elements given from A cross B. So in all the three, the first elements are from A, second elements are from B. So what is A, can you say? You take only the first elements without repetition. What are the first elements? X, Y, Z. So A is X, Y, Z, no more elements because N of A equal to what? Three, all the three got it. Now B is the second elements. What are the second elements here? Second elements are one, two, one. Don't repeat. One, two, again one. Don't repeat it. So, okay. So there are only two elements you are supposed to get, right? So this is how you have to find, a, uh, find the elements of what? A and B. Okay, that's all. Now the last question in that exercise. Look at that question. A cross A has 16 elements. Like, yeah, just now we did. A cross A 16 elements means A has four elements. Okay, so no need to waste time. Number of elements in A cross A equal to 16. So that means number of elements A equal to four. A cross A, so first element from A, second element also from A. So uh, two elements they given, right? So you can say what is A. What are the four elements? Zero, one. Minus 1, 2. You write in order. Smallest number is minus 1. Minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Listen very carefully. This is a little bit different. You have to be very careful. So now, S equal to, please listen carefully. They didn't ask you to find A alone. Okay, A, you got it. Now we have to find S. S is set of ordered pair A comma B from A cross A. A cross A contains how many elements? 16 elements. A cross A contains 16 elements. A cross A means A, another one is also A. Minus 1, 0, 1, 2. What is A cross A? Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2. Then 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. Right? You know that you, there are how many elements are there? 16 elements are there in A cross A. But S is... Set of ordered pair from A cross A under a condition. What's the condition? A less than B. What is A? The first number. First number is less than second number. Then only you should take it as S. Yes. So S yes equal to, you take one element from A, second element also from A. If I take like that, you can write 16 ordered pairs. So there is a condition. First element must be less than second element. So can you take from minus one? Can you take minus one, minus one? Less than symbol should be there. Minus 1, less than minus 1 is no. It's equal. So you cannot take minus 1, minus 1. Can you take minus 1, 0? Yes, minus 1 is less than 0. So you can take minus 1, 0. Can you take minus 1, 1? Minus 1 is less than 1. So you can take it. Okay. So then minus 1, 2 also you can take. Now we start from 0. 0, minus 1. 0, minus 1. 0 is greater than minus 1. So you can't take that. 0, 0, no, they are equal. 0, 1 you can take, right? 0, 1, uh, 0, 2 you can take. Then from 1, only 1, 2 you can take. 2, nothing, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements are there, but this is not your final answer. So read the question very carefully. Final step should be the clear answer. So what they asked in the question, two elements given. Find the remaining elements. That two elements, leave it. Write only the remaining four you have, right? Okay, what are the two elements given? Minus one, two. Minus one, two, zero, one. Minus one, two, zero, one. So these are the two elements already they given. Now they are asking, write the remaining elements of yes. They didn't ask you to write the remaining elements as a set. They didn't ask. So you say the remaining elements. So the remaining elements are. The remaining elements are, what are the remaining elements? Minus 1, 0. That two given ordered pairs, you leave it, okay? So minus 1, 1. So 0, 2, 1, 2. So these are the remaining elements, okay? No need to write it as a set. So this is your final answer, okay? So you very carefully you should read this chapter, okay? So go through all the definitions, results. All the example sums, exercise sums, everything I taught, hope you understood all these things. In my next video, we'll see the second exercise.